<clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us ask our Lord for forgiveness, because we have sinned. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done and what I have to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your spirit, O oh Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts that he may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus the Nazarean, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, in his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stooped toward me and heard my cry, and he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here, Here am I, I am, O Lord, Lord, I come, come to, to do your, your will. will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord. Here am I, I Lord. Come I come to will. do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, know. Here am I, Here Lord. Am Lord. I, I come to, to do, do your, your will. will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here am I, Here Lord. Am I, Lord. I, I come, come to, to do your will. will. Give us 
The Lord be in your heart and in your lips that you may work it, proclaim his gospel in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you Lord. O Lord. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey to Jerusalem, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus said, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, <clears throat> as we are summoned by clinic and uh, we go deeper in the signs of the times for our migrant community, our refugees and isolees, we have to discover how clinic is the helping hand for so many people who really need our presence, our voice, and why not the, we become the instrument of that, this Jesus Christ that says to all of us, no, don't worry, you're not by yourself. We want to accompany you in your journey. A journey that in so many uh, ways uh, is uh, described in today's gospel by something that is entitled to the condition of migrants and refugees. People who are displaced or people who are not having home. Unfortunately, they don't even sometimes have where to recline their heads. And that is kind of uh, evangelical and uh, is like a, a verse or a sentence that is referring refer to those who are experiencing that terrible reality, human drama in today's world, being displaced always in a hurry because they need to take care of their own lives. When the house is in fire, we don't realize how much we have or how less we have. The house is in fire, we have to leave because otherwise we will die. And that is the reality of so many clients and so many people who knocks at the doors of clinic. How are we going to fix this? Because it's not a good thing for children and for entire families not to have a home. 
A country like ours that is full of resources and it's a very strong economy, we have to move to the point that migrants might be a danger to conceive how migrants are a blessing for the economy. They come to move, to work, to try to do their best in order to make, uh, continue to function those institutions and those resources that benefit all of us. Countries and societies who are open to immigrants, they prosper. Countries and societies that are very, very close to allow those who need our helping hand to come in, they die. And their economies get very, very rachitic and sick. That is why, in so many ways in today's gospel, the sentence, follow me, it is a condition of knowing that we are on this earth moving from point A to point, point B, point C, and especially that the Lord will continue to bless our families by giving them something to stay here. But please, let us never lose direction of our Christian condition, which make us feel that all of us are immigrants of heaven, that we are not going to stay here forever. The more we go to that point in the celebration of Easter and the risen Christ, the more we have to say yes, my destination, my final, my final path is to see Christ. Christ doesn't belong to these countries. Christ belongs to heaven, where I have to go and where I will have my plenitude and fulfillment of my own vocation. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, may the Lord continue to bless those who come, even though in a very difficult time of the pandemic, and uh, they hold on to their screens in order to have a reflection how we improve our services, how we accompany those who are in such a difficult human drama, how we are going to continue to be the helping hand of Jesus Christ in their lives. May the Lord continue to bless our employees, our directors, our volunteers. We know that uh, the new administration have a strong responsibility to open up little by little, step by step, the doors to our dreamers, our TPS people, and those who are undocumented for many years in this country. We're speaking about 20, 25, 30 years, paying taxes, helping the economy, try to do their best. Our immigrants are people who are frontliners, always trying to serve and to work the best, trying to build up this, this uh, nation of ours, then it is a time for us to say thank you. And it is a time also for justice in their lives. If we think about our dear farmers, our immigrants, TPSs, those who are working for getting better our societies. What a blessing they are. And we have a social responsibility to them. Therefore, as we continue the celebration of this Mass, 
Let us remember we are people of faith, people, people of hope, and especially people of love. That uh, our words, our prayers, and our presence signifying a very strong advocacy might continue to be with them and might continue to bring them the sense of hope that Jesus wants to refer to them into their lives. Follow me. How are we going to do it? With faith, with such a strong responsibility to know that the more that has received, the more he will or she will be asked for. May the Lord continue to bless us during this Mass, and as we come to several conclusions during this uh, time of reflection, may the Lord keep us faithful, and as we said in the responsorial psalm, here I am, Lord, to make your will. What's God's will in our lives. What does he want from each of us during these difficult signs of the times? And in a pandemic, we know those who have been significantly impacted by the pandemic is our immigrant community. How are we are going to alleviate their pain and the suffering? And perhaps it's a time for us to continue to raise our voices and to say, Lord, give us the sense of justice, love for our immigrant community. As we pray for them, we walk with them in the name of Jesus, the, Jesus Christ. And what is so important, our hands, voices, and our presence are the real instruments of Jesus Christ to say, don't be afraid. I am with you. And that is what uh, the gospel wants from us, that we might be able to disappear, that Jesus Christ might be recognized by so many people in need that they are not by themselves, but they have Jesus' helping hand to make uh, the sense of love and trust during these times, difficult times, that I'm sure, or we are sure, it will come with many blessings as well for our dear immigrant community. Amen. Of, of our God, let us offer our prayers to Him. For our church leaders, including Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, those in religious life, and lay leaders, that they may remain faithful and strong as they seek to minister to the needs of their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. and our local communities be guided in their actions by the knowledge that all people are created in the image of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may be a witness to Christ's love by practicing charity and promoting justice and peace throughout the world. Let us pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer migrants, refugees, and strangers in our midst, that they may find hope in our concern for justice and feel the warmth of our love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who work or volunteer at clinic affiliates, grant them compassion, strength, and wisdom 
as they continue to serve their communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, the diaconate, and consecrated life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. And we pray that those who have died may be filled with God's love and find peace and tranquility in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. Lord God, giver of love and mercy, we submit our prayers to your most holy will, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Number two. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the, Lord, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens, and the angels gaze in wonder. Medita me mediator between God and man, judge of the world and the Lord of hosts, he ascended not to the distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat uh, from, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to fulfillment of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, peace I give you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. I know the things you've asked me. Jesus Christ, don't bring me to judgment and condemnation. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O oh Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit 
the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord. Thanks be to God.